So welcome back to American Truck Simulator. On my previous uh, videos, I'd uh, let me check out the world map here. I got this awesome Kenworth. It was like a WL900. That's something they must have added in the game um, via an update because uh, I had played previously and I hadn't seen this. So that's sort of brand new. I imagine it's available for purchase. I don't have a Kenworth dealer yet, but previously I'd done the initial San Diego run, my hometown. And I've done a San Diego to Bakersfield, and I've taken this WL900 job from uh, Bakersfield over to, to Prim. And you can see the route there that I've got set up. Oh, let me try to zoom in right here. Alright, so there's not a lot in Barstow. I don't know if driving through the middle, if I'll discover Barstow or not. Uh, there's a scale here. But it's with gas tanks, so that might not be one that uh, charges us or requires us to come in, so I'll have to skip that for another episode. Of course, if you bypass the scales, they'll charge you $700. First occurrence, and if you do two on a trip, it'll be 1400 or if you never, it might be over consecutive trips, so $700, uh, you know, when you're cruising, and you get a little more money, obviously at this level, $700 is important, but you get a little more money, you got to make a decision, you know, and it takes another couple minutes to pull up the scales and get up to speed as opposed to just blowing through at 70 miles an hour and uh, you know so you gotta figure out if it's worth it's, it's probably at $700 I'd blow through the scales uh, but at $1400 you should probably think about stopping so I'm gonna make it over to Prim here not quite Las Vegas uh, via Route 15 here so let's get on it oh also I got a message so let's see what check my email message hey need money we can help from the bank all right, so this is our first opportunity. I haven't discussed, discovered enough. I can borrow $130,000. That may be enough to get a low-level truck. Um, obviously, the interest rate on $1,000 is $1,800 is $1,800 a day. If you go wait for $400,000, that's $5,700. As I said, you'll need about $500,000 to set up a garage, and you'll need about $130,000. So you got some decisions to make here. I'm going to continue with the, just taking the job markets. I don't know if you get a little more money. Uh, what was my what was my job worth? Uh, $2,500. So not much for that. Should be a 10-hour job. So let's just get on it. And here I am at the Chem. Again, Chem is one of these uh, um, vendors in the game that pay a lot of money. Uh, Chem and Gallon and. Uh, sometimes the drilling company, Coastline Drilling. Uh, unfortunately, they're not around garages uh, very much. I, I scouted that out. If you ever got one of those companies around a garage, that would be an obvious starting point because you can quickly get from your garage to the uh, to these high-paying jobs, especially when you get hazardous um, bonus lines. In the previous one I had chosen, by the way, I leveled up and I chose long distance. Uh, I'll probably chose long distance for a couple just to get sort of 600-mile jobs. It brings in a little more money. Uh, just about everything. Maybe when I get another chance, I'll take a look at uh, which one of those. You can pick anything, but the the fuel economy. The fuel economy is not worth it at all um, going forward. So nice looking, uh, some kind of hazardous semi. Maybe it's not hazardous. Maybe that's why I can drive it. Nice truck. I haven't driven this truck before. Uh, not in ATS. Again, it hasn't been available. So let's just take a look. We've got an interesting green. Fuel distance, speed, cruise control. So this is a nice, nice interior. I wonder what this truck will cost. When I get going, oh, I gotta plug in. Put it on pause. All right. Well, this game works better when you plug in your steering wheel. I should have uh, recessed my seat back, but not gonna do that today. I just kind of take a look at that mirror. It's just a single mirror really can't see it in my video shot. That's okay. If I run into somebody, so be it. Hopefully I won't get penalized too much. I don't know what the specs are in this truck. Oh, I got more mail. I have to check out my mail after this trip. Ooh, stay there at the stop sign, buddy. All right, clear the 
them. Let me try the cruise here. Let me go up to 30. Let me go right down to 25. Now, well, this one doesn't have a retarder either. So I'm still waiting for that truck with a retarder. I definitely like the retarder. I like to drive with the retarder. Speed limit 65 here. So let me bump it up to 50. Again, I think I got enough fuel. It's a pretty short trip. Not sure how many gears on the truck. This is where it gets a little squirrely. Even though you can go 65 according to the speed limit, I'm doing 40. And you can see those curves get a little tough. So one of the things about this game, particularly with the car speed limit on, is uh, you can definitely overdrive those tight curves. Uh, speed limit's not an not a not an issue. Uh, you really need to gear down your speed. Nobody coming. We'll get out here on. Uh, Single lane road again here. Thank you. Got some tumbleweeds blowing across there. One of the visual effects. I don't think it does any damage if you uh, bump into them. I haven't had any damages yet bumping into tumbleweeds. super strong right now it's struggling to make it up this small hill so I'm not sure what kind of horsepower is in this truck not a whole lot obviously it's a neat truck though I definitely like uh, like that digital display I like the feel of the truck So this might be a 13 speed. It's definitely more than a 10. I know when you buy your first truck and you got a 10 speed, there's a big big gap between 8th and 9th and 10th. Matter of fact, it makes you almost want to drive the manual. Uh, but the automatic takes care of it. When you have the manual, you see it for sure about uh, how big those gap ratios are. It's almost like the 10th is an overdrive. And it doesn't climb, doesn't climb hills well at all in that gear. So I'm coming up on probably the I-15 interstate. Anytime you don't have a light and you're trying to go left across these interstates, this traffic can drive you a little nuts. Oops. So not too bad. There's somebody in front of me. You know, I know, uh, you know that guy's waiting there, which is something the AI does. That seems like that guy's waiting too. So yeah, it's nice. That's not something that would happen in the real world have to force yourself across. Hopefully they're in, not in the turning lane, hopefully they wait too. So if you just nose out like this, because uh, sometimes when the traffic is so bad, you just would never, you could sit there for 15 minutes and not make it out. Um, I know you saw that, I forgot the name of the city, it's out in the middle of nowhere, up from Tonopah, it might be Tonopah itself. It's like you have to make a left-hand turn, and it's like and you could. The AI is pretty tentative about jumping out like that, and we got that traffic wasn't too too bad. But it seems like when it's a busy part of the day, uh, traffic can be horrible. Other times it's not dense enough, so you can't really get a mod to turn up your traffic. Speed limit 70, hitting a cop on the right there, and I'm only doing 40. So actually, I gee, gotta get my cruise control getting there. Oh, I'm coming into a city. Uh, 65, Barstow. So you could recognize this Barstow just by going through the interstate, or I'm gonna have to do something special. Also, it's getting closer to late at night. Not sure. Yeah, 9:31 estimated arrival. I know it's gonna shrink some. I'll probably have to use my lights this trip.
So yeah, apparently I didn't discover Barso. Made in there. So L once puts your running lights on, your side lights, and L two, second second L will turn on your lights. And if you hit L again, everything will go off. When it gets to be nighttime, I hit the K button. I'll probably do that for the videos. It's just brighter on the videos. It, there's no penalty, as far as I can tell, for just it's very rude to bright people. They'll flash at you. But as far as I know, there's no penalty. So when it gets dark out, it's just a little better to run with these big lights on. Turn them off for a second. So I'm still in a 70 zone. Nobody really around me, so I can drift lanes. Otherwise, you got it in the left-hand lane. You're close to a guardrail. Just gotta watch yourself that you don't run into it. Occasionally, you sort of doze off and hit something. Hopefully, don't do too much damage. So 74 miles left. This will be done pretty quick. It's only a 2,500 job. I normally progress by buying a truck. I might do that for this video series, although ultimately you want to uh, get your whoop. Ultimately, you want to try to get that 500,000 level. If you take a 100,000 out loan or 130,000 out loan, um, they won't give you the 500 you need to have three drivers in a, a um, garage. A garage, a brand new garage, is like 180. You can upgrade your garage for 180. And you get two additional slots, but if you go buy a garage like Los Angeles, then um, we'll need uh, 180. It's 180 for three slots, so that saves you a little bit. And you'll, be, you'll have the ability to get a, another truck. Usually, you can buy two trucks in the garage for that 500 or whatever. Uh, but that 130 comes around eventually. That's what you save up for. I guess you got to buy a truck to get over to the garage. Um, to be able to purchase the garage as opposed to you know buying a job. I don't know if you can buy a garage while on a job. It's an interesting question because I just normally don't follow that route. So I'm not going terribly fast so the RV is probably a little upset with me. It's hogging the left hand lane but I know I'm making an eventual left. So what the heck, I'll drive slow in the left hand lane. It's not feeling too dark, even though it's 8 o'clock at night here. And I've got 10 miles to go. And I'm coming into town. A lot of times when you come into town, you got to check your, your speed limits. This might not be one, because there's not much to it. Whoop. Braking. Turn on my blinker. Try to get a roll on this, since people are moving. Alright, so this is a hard one to get out of when you come back out. You want to make a left, you make a right, not too hard, but if you were free roaming. So I'm going to make another delivery here. Kind of a neat truck. I'll have to see what the horsepower features are and what the price is on this truck. Um, it's a little long. Um, there's no advantage or disadvantage to getting the long trucks with the sleepers. I mean, if you need to sleep at a rest area, you'll do it in the day truck, which is, the day truck is just the, the cab itself, right? So, not very realistic in that terms. Let me not blow by this place. Um, so, and a matter of fact, it gets sometimes a little harder to, to park with a longer wheelbase. So, actually a disadvantage to buying the more expensive trucks, but gotta do something in the game. So it's 40 and 15. When it's 40 and 15, I'm just gonna take the 15. Just for this video, make it a little quicker. Later on, when money's not quite the object, sometimes I don't even park at all. I mean, it's interesting to do the difficult parking once. This is what a simple parking looks like. So it's worth 15 points just to drive over here for two seconds, but at this level. Uh, once you get into longer trips. So let's see how we did. Good work. Not excellent though. I did get some damage. One time I bumped into the gate. So I'm still level one newbie. You can see how far the green went. So continue. Let's see what my message was. I got another message, right? 
Drivers with own equipment needed. All right. Well, do you pay more? Well, we offer competitor rates up to 4,600. So let's see. Let's see what our job market now picks up on a quick job. Because you also need to be making um, over five thousand dollars on your own, um, preferably seven to eight thousand before you think about buying a garage. Kenworth W900 Studio Sleeper, awesome. So I'm getting that kind of price in theory on my own. Maybe it's cheaper routes. I don't know if it's better to just take these jobs or to buy a truck. But let's go Bakersfield to Reno in a Kenworth day cab. Big job. All right, so a quick job. It was 392 miles. Let me just check my distance to empty. I've got 500 miles worth of fuel. So I should be good there. Let's take a look at the load. Uh, car parts, short trailer. Pretty navigable. Simple day cab. Go back in the cab. Let's just look at the map. Quickly what we're going to be doing. So we're leaving out of Bakersfield out here. And we're going to cruise up the, uh, the 99. So not doing the I-5 yet. But eventually that merges in to the I-5. So we're going to get a look at the tail end of 5. Uh, there is a speed limit in Stockton. Sort of a truck. And then you get to this weird, into Truckee, towards Truckee. Uh, it crosses over to the 80, and you get this, this is a pretty steep climb here. One of the reasons I don't really like the 80 is the steep climb, and this, and you've got a scale in there, so we'll get our first opportunity to look at a scale. And nothing too exciting. I could get off here. Uh, maybe I'll do that. Maybe see what, we'll see what this looks like. Let me drive by there. I'm going to click the 1. So I'll pick up this place. Maybe this happens to be a Kenworth dealer. I don't remember what dealer that is. So I'll skip a little bit of highway, but trust me, I'll eventually drive the I-80 through there. Uh, it's uh, inevitable, these major highways. So let's get on the road. Oh, put it in gear. Go. We're stuck behind an N hool, which I guess is a U haul. They should move along just fine. Yeah. I need to cap out at 30 here. Even if you're in a pack and you're going over 30, it seems like they give you a ticket to pass a cop or cops in the vicinity.
All right, so now we're on the I-5. Coming into Sacramento, and you'll see the speed limit change here. It's 40. Yeah, I'm going to have to hit the brakes. And then it's going to be 35. It's going to go right out to 55. Trucky, one mile. So there's a trick to this curve, which is take it as fast as you can that's reasonable, 60 or 65 into it. It's really nice and accelerate through it. And you'll see why. So just come a little wide here. Full acceleration. As fast as you can. Because even with a 500 horsepower truck, this one's going to get you. How much was this load on this one? 23,000 pound load. It's not a pretty good load for this engine. I'm already at 48 miles an hour. And I think I'm getting to the crest here, 42. Yep. So down to 42, not too bad. Definitely want to get ahead of steam once you know where these hills are. So let me set my cruise back to uh, 65 or 70 because this gets a little winding. And there's usually a fair amount of traffic around here. Just a good place to make a slight mistake or really have to focus on, especially if you get in the left lane. I got a bunch of turners, so I'm going to drift over to the left. Sometimes they stop on you. AI tends to stop and then do rapid moves. You learn that fairly quickly. A scale coming up so we'll see if they pull it in and they do and so the speed limit on the scale is 20 I'm gonna have to actually break here so it doesn't matter so yeah they'll give you a little warning telling you to come in nothing too exciting I don't know if you can get a I mean you get a violation for skipping the scale stop at the icon Oh, didn't stop at the icon, I guess. There you go. Pass the inspection, press enter. Good to go. And you're on your way. Thank you, sir. There's no fee for it. Like I said, if you bypass it, it's $700, and then it escalates up from there. So you can do that once, and then probably have to stop. It does take a couple. On a truck like this, it takes more than a couple minutes, because the acceleration is so poor to get back up to that speed you're at. So if you're if you're making five hundred dollars a minute or seven hundred dollars a minute on your delivery, you got to make a decision. 
in theory. You can bypass it, take a $700 fine, and just eat it. It's annoying to stop there, I guess. Must have crossed over into Nevada because we're up at 80 miles an hour speed limit now. You'll overdrive the road at 80 in most cases. But it's nice to be there. Four thirty in the morning. Reno. So we discovered Reno. Uh oh, come on. Ah, two hundred dollar. So maybe they got those fines down to a reasonable amount. I've seen up to fourteen hundred dollars. I'm not sure how they do those fines. Like I said. To make you think twice about blowing through a light. What am I doing? Whoa! Figure out what I'm doing. Alright, this one I'll stop at. So we're doing some of that city driving on this road. Kind of boring. Yep, another Peterbilt. Not sure I have a Kenworth yet. So that was it, Bakersfield to Reno, $5,000, got me to a new level. And so last time I picked long distance, again, hazardous cargo gives you some money, long distance allows longer jobs. High value is okay, fragile is okay, just in time is actually a little bit better than those two as far as if you can pick up those jobs. Uh, and fuel economy is not worth going for at all. This time I think I'm going to go for a little bit of uh, high value. Or let me do uh, let me do high value. So, 